Hey everyone, back in Oakland. I've got some more information for you, actually new information, on the Oakland Raiders' ongoing quest to build a stadium, preferably here in Oakland at the Coliseum. This week, on Monday, I believe it was, no, prior to Monday, Oakland Raiders President Mark Bedane met with Peter Brieger, who is the co-chairman of the board of Fortress Investment Group. And from what I understand, the meeting went extremely well, and Mark is, quote, keeping an open mind and following on the progress that Fortress and the city of Oakland and the county of Alameda and Ronnie Lott and the other parties are making. So don't believe by any stretch of the imagination that the Oakland effort is dead and nothing is going on. Again, the well problem for those of us who are chomping at the bit to see progress toward a new stadium complete is that all of this is done behind closed doors. It's not the open pro process like the SNTIC, which also I might have is completely different, completely different, and is still largely incomplete. Okay, so the bottom line here is that the Raiders are still keeping... Oakland very much in the game here. They have not closed the door and contrary to what Oakland Raiders owner Mark Davis has said the train has not left the station in Oakland. Now, speaking of trains I understand that the Clark County Board of Commissioners approved a monorail extension to Russell Road with the idea that a stadium would be built there rather than Bali High, which if that's the case would explain why I haven't been able to find much information regarding progress on any kind of plan for use of the Bali High site, which would be stupid anyway, because it's basically so close to the McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas that it might as well be a hangar on the site. However, keep in mind one thing. Because this plan was approved doesn't mean anything is going to happen. It means it was approved. Also, Russell Road is not some barren stretch of land way out in the boonies. If a monorail is extended to the Russell Road property, it's going to make serving the hotels in that area even better for the monorail system. It was going to be extended down that way anyway. That was just approved. Okay, That was always part of the plan. And not only that, that was also part of the SNTIC hearings, that recommendation for a monorail funding so that they can expand. So don't read too much into that. It's been spun as, well, they just did the monorail extension only for the Raiders. Uh, no. Okay. They didn't. They didn't. There are people out there who want to make you think that the Las Vegas effort is moving along faster than it really is, when the reality is that it's moving at a snail's pace. Something else, too. One week from tonight is the election. Not just the presidential election, but the San Diego election. And I'm contemplating actually making a trip down there to interview people you know, right up front as the vote tallies come in regarding the effort to build some the new stadium or at least to get that ballot measure passed that would increase the hotel tax in San Diego County for a new NFL stadium for the Chargers. It's expected to lose. But there's also the story regarding the future of Comic-Con and the expansion of the convention center down there. So there's a lot going on with that, all right? Now, back to Vegas. There are other reports that the Raiders are confident the market study checks all the boxes. Folks, I want you to think about what I just told you. Confident means they haven't seen the outcome, all right? It's a guess, which means they're trying to put a positive spin on something that really reads to have more of a negative spin. They haven't given you solid numbers. There's no public website you can visit to see the results of the market study. There's nothing. That in and of itself is very telling. It should be telling to you. Meanwhile, Oakland doesn't have that problem. We know the Oakland market works because the Raiders this year themselves announced, in fact, Mark Davis personally said, that the Raiders set a franchise 
record for season ticket sales. And for the first time in Oakland Raiders history, there exists a wait list for season tickets in Oakland. They would never top that in Las Vegas. Stay tuned.